We want everybody in Ukraine to know, uh, the entire country, our family, our friends, our fellow musicians, uh, that we love them, that we miss them, we're caring for them, we're advocating for them in any way that we can. We also want you to know that we will continue speaking the truth. The Bandura is uniquely Ukrainian. The Russian government cannot take that away from Ukrainians in Ukraine, nor will they take that away from us here in the United States or in Canada. The one thing that we take a lot of pride in is the instrument that we play, the Bandura. Whether it was the Tsarist Russian government or the Soviet government, they were always willing and acted out on trying to destroy this instrument, to literally bury the instrument and bury the song. And we're seeing this today, where they're trying to get rid of a people and its history and its culture. We refuse to have our Bandura silenced. We here in the West um, have a mission to preserve the instrument. We have a mission to make sure that it, stays, that it stays alive and that its music stays alive. The music that we play in the Bandura and the songs that we sing, uh, many of them are hundreds of years old, if not a thousand years old. And, you know, there, there's nothing more democratic than a folk song. These folk songs that we sing, are the, they're the collective property of the Ukrainian nation. And they're going to be at risk. We have a responsibility to preserve them here. The mission of the choir has been to carry the truth and to tell the story of Ukraine through the sound of uh, Bandura, the Ukrainian instrument, unique instrument. No other uh, nation on earth plays this instrument. Uh, we all volunteer. We are about 50 some people from all over the United States and Canada. It is almost surreal for us to see what's happening in Ukraine right now. Of course, um, choir's history is that of lifting the people's spirits through the wars and through, through bad regimes. Not only uh, does Ukraine have a rich culture and a rich history, I think the world is seeing how people are willing to sacrifice in Ukraine for every inch of their land. So that inspires us to do whatever we can to help them.